Welcome back. Well, you've heard about edible flowers, edible golden leaves, even edible glue. But what about edible bowls? This is the brainchild of a Cape Town-based company aiming to clamp down on waste. The Manchu way of replacing plastic containers is a proudly South African innovation that's getting plenty of international attention too. Tan and Eft has got the details on that story. This is sadly still the current situation when it comes to waste. And plastic is still a global contributor to the problem. But Cape Town entrepreneur Georgina de Kock has had enough and a few years back decided to do something about it by creating these eco-friendly edible bowls. First of all, you look around the waste and I was always complaining so someone said to me, look they're serving curry and rice and um, can I come up with something that is eco-friendly? So I was thinking, well, you know, put food on a biscuit, make it a bowl. As I went along, I really wished it to hold soup as well. I did actually find that the bowl can hold the soup for at least three hours. Georgina spent a long time getting its crisp texture and shape just right. And along with improving the planet, she was equally set on making it a healthy option too. The idea was to get rid of single-use plastics. And then I was thinking, well, you know, if I do something that is edible, you need to make it wholesome. There is no preservatives in this, no chemicals used, no GMO products, and it's vegan. If you have a look at this bowl, you can actually see it has got a lot of bran in. It has got wheat in, but our wheat is stone brown and unbleached. Today, Munch Bowls is a fully operational business that's also received major international accolades as a global innovator. We have been awarded as a global innovator for the Expo Live 2020. We've been invited as an honored guest to be at the show during the six months. Georgina is a fine example of someone who wants to make a difference in caring for our planet. And I have to say, she's doing it in a very tasty way. Hopefully we can all take a leaf from her book. Tanya Neft, Cape Town.